practice. Um, I'm going to do another read aloud. Um, this time we're going to do a picture book. It's actually one of my all time favorite picture books. I don't know if you guys have heard of it before or if you've read it before, but it's called The Giving Tree and it's by Shel Silverstein. I love, love, love this book. I love the message that it sends and I hope you guys enjoy. So we're going to read The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Once there was a tree. There's a picture of it right there. And she loved a little boy. Make me smaller. Maybe them. Can they over here, maybe? And every day the boy would come. And he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. And he would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches. There you can see his feet right there. Maybe if I'll put me down here. And eat apples. And they would play hide and go seek. I swear I can't put myself anywhere on this screen without getting in the way. Oh my goodness. And there he is down in the corner playing hide and go seek with the tree. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much and the tree was happy but time went by and the boy grew older he's becoming a teenager he's going to be coming in an adult and the tree was often alone then one day the boy came to the tree and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come boy, Climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. Let's see if I'm in the way. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come, boy, she whispered. Come and play. I'm too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat 
and sailed away. And now we can see all that's left of the tree down here is just her stump. But still, the tree was happy, but not really. After a long time, the boy came back again. I'm sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. Um, I hope you love this book as much as I did um, and still do. Um, again, this book shows um, how people, especially people that you love, you're willing to give so much of yourself to them because you love them. But it really shows how important it is to treat people that you care about, um, to treat them well, to show them that you love them, and to always be there for them. Um, I think this is a good book for us, especially in a time when we don't get to see our family as much right now and our friends as much. And to always just remember to be thankful for the people that you love and all of the things that, that they do for you. Um, I miss you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And I hope to see you soon. And maybe we can read this book together in person because we do do love this book so much. Bye, guys.